Welcome, amazing jam candidates. And let me teach you how to solve problems involving binary operation. I tell you, it's just very simple. This is the second phase of this class, so ensure to go through the first phase. And don't forget to tell us how helpful this is to you in the comments. Give it a like and share. Now, we are beginning with question one. We are told the binary operation, this, this is an operation, okay, is defined by x operation y as this for all real values of x and y. If x operation 3 is 2 operation x, find x. Very simple. Relax yourself. Now, what do you do? Just remember that we said binary operation is always defined using arithmetic operation. This operation, you cannot call it addition. Neither will you call it subtraction or multiplication. No. You always use the defined operation. Okay? So you see here, this operation has been defined as subtraction which is your usual arithmetic eh, operation. So you can easily work with this, but you cannot work with this. I hope it's clear. So to answer this question, what do you do? You begin it with solution. Now, this is what we are giving. X operation Y is given as XY minus Y minus X. Interesting. Now we are told, remember real values are values you find on the number line. Okay? Now, we are told if x operation 3, so let's deal with this first. So, we're going to have x operation 3 is equal to, at this point, you go by substitution. So, we are going to substitute, okay? So, it means your x remains x. You observe you have x operation y. Here, you have x operation 3. So, you just do normal substitution. x remains x and y becomes 3. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Now, let's replace it at the right side. So, at this right side, I know that when you have x, y, it means x times y. I hope you are with me. Now, what do you do? Anywhere you see x, replace with x. So, you multiply. So, let's use dot for multiplication. Multiply by y. Our y is 3. Okay. Minus our y is still 3. Then, minus our x still remains x. Interesting. So, what do you do? Just simplify. So we're going to have x times 3 is 3x, three then minus 3 minus x. So let's subtract, okay? 3x minus x. Remember, x is 1x. So 3x minus x gives you 2x minus 3. Now let's keep this aside. Pick the second part, which is 2 operation 3. Sorry, 2 operation x. So what do you do? Your x will be this, and this becomes your y. Okay, just follow this operation as it is defined. So I don't make mistake. The first one is your x. The second one is your y. So in that case, you are going to have x is going to be 2, okay, multiplied by our y is taking the value of x. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Then minus y is taking the value of x minus x is taking the value of 2. Did you see? So let's simplify. We have 2 times this is 2x minus x minus 2. This minus this gives you x minus 2. Okay? Now we have gotten this as this and this as this. So what did the question say? It says that this is equal to this. So what it means is that the first part, which you have gotten as 2x minus 3, is equal to the second part, which we have it as x minus 2. Did you see? At this point, you can work with this because what you now have is arithmetic operations. But when it is like this, you cannot solve this. I hope you have seen the difference between the two now. So what do you do? Simply collect like terms. So to do it, this you will now subtract. So this, you because it's subtraction, you add 3 to both sides. And if you do that, you have 2x is equal to x. This will give us a 1. Now, what do you do again? To remove this x is positive, so you subtract. So to do it, you have subtract x from both sides. And that will give us 1x, which is the same as x, is equal to this we cancel. So we have x as being 1. And that is the answer for the first question. Now let's look at the second one. For question two, it's still very simple. Let's read together. We are told that a binary operation, this is defined by A operation B as this, 
if a operation 2 is given as this, find the possible values of A. Now, let me teach you what to do, okay? So, let's take what we have. We have A operation B is given as A to the power of B. You observe that this binary operation is now defined with an exponential function, okay? So, what do you do? Go back to the question. You are told that A operation 2, okay? So, let's get A operation 2 first. Let's see what it gives us. So, A operation 2, remember we said we are doing substitution. So, A will take A, B will still remain 2, okay? So, substitute this in the function that is defined. Remember, the defined function is this exponential. So, it's going to give us equal to our A still remains A and our B will be 2. So, we have A squared. But remember that they said A operation 2 is giving us 2 minus A. So it means that the whole of this is replacing 2 minus A. Did you see what you are doing? And this is equal to what? A squared. Now when you look at this carefully, you observe that if A is equal to B, automatically B is equal to A. So in that case, we can say that A squared is equal to 2 minus A. This is leading you to a quadratic because the highest power of A here is now 2. So gather everything to look beautiful. Observe that this is positive. So to remove positive, you subtract. This is negative. To remove negative, you add. So do this to the both sides. If you do it, you have A squared, okay, plus A minus 2. If you subtract this, everything at the right side is 0. So this is what we have. Now, to solve this quadratic equation, I'm going to teach you a trick on how to use the factoring method. Now, for the factoring method, just watch. You, given this, what do you think we should do? You observe that the coefficient of a squared is 1. Whenever you have a variable without any number before, it has an invisible 1. So the coefficient of a squared is 1. Okay. So if the coefficient of a squared is 1, we don't have problem. Now, what you do here is you are going to ask yourself a question. What two numbers will you multiply to give you what? Negative 2. And when you add them, it gives you the middle number. Remember, the quotient of the middle one is positive 1. So what are those two numbers? You get the two numbers from the numbers that can divide 2. And the numbers you know are 1 and 2. So what two numbers? You can pause for a while. So what two numbers? To shorten it for you. The two numbers we are choosing are 2 and 1. And what signs? Positive 2 and negative 1. Let's see. Multiply these two. It gives you negative 2. Did you see? Now let's add it. Negative 1 plus 2 will still give us positive 1. So we have got, gotten it. Now, because this is A squared, open two brackets for A. Okay? One will be here and another will be here. Put these two values you got in each of them. So we have plus 2 and the other one will be negative 1. And everything is equal to 0. So simplifying it further, we are going to now have a plus 2 is equal to 0 or a minus 1 is 0. So let's work this out. This is positive, so you subtract 2 from both sides. If you do it, a will give us negative 2, okay? Now here, this is negative. You add 1 to both sides. If you do that, A will give us a 1. Did you see that? So these become the two possible values of a, a as required in the question. And I hope you learned a lot. Let us know how much in the comment. Don't forget to share with your friends. Give this tutorial a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in our next class to tell you more about binary operation. Till then, bye-bye.